Now we'll be talking about trinomials in quadratic form. A trinomial of one variable is in quadratic form if it takes on the form a times some expression squared plus b times the same expression plus c. We'll look at two examples of this here. Here we see 2x to the 8th. We could rewrite this as 2x to the 4th squared. Then we have 3x to the 4th, so that's just minus 3x to the 4th minus 35. So here our expression is x to the 4th. So we will be able to factor polynomials like this. We're just going to treat x to the 4th like it's x. Then we would factor, substitute back in the x to the 4th later. This example is similar. We can express this as 3 times a to the 5th squared minus 5a to the 5th minus 28. So here a to the 5th is like our x in this type of problem. A way that you can tell a trinomial is in quadratic form is if you see x being raised to a higher power, obviously higher than 2, and then right after that you see being x raised to half of whatever that power is. It's like 4 is half of 8, 5 is half of 10. Usually that's a sign you have a trinomial in quadratic form and can rewrite it this way before factoring it. But now we'll talk about how to factor trinomials in quadratic form. First you want to determine what the expression is. In the last examples we had x to the fourth is an expression and a to the fifth is an expression. Then you would find a new variable to represent it. Two, rewrite the trinomial with a new variable in place of the expression and factor. Three, replace the new variable with the original expression and factor again if necessary. Let's look at an example here. So this is the same one we saw before. We already know how we can rewrite this. We've already figured out what our expression is. It's x to the fourth. Now that we've done this, we're going to come up with a new variable. Let's say we're going to use the letter u. We'll say let u equal x to the fourth. Now we'll rewrite this expression as 2u squared minus 3u minus 35. Now this looks a lot more like the trinomials we're used to seeing, and we can factor this using the AC method. Our AC here is 2 times negative 35, gives us negative 70. The factors of negative 70 that add to negative 3 are positive 10 and negative 7. So we can rewrite this polynomial as 2u squared minus 10u plus 7u minus 35. Now we can factor by grouping. Now we factored, but we haven't finished factoring yet. We need to rewrite our original expression back in here. So before we're finished, we have to replace u with x to the fourth again. So we have x to the fourth minus 5 times 2x to the fourth plus 7. And thankfully, this cannot be factored further, so we would stop here. Now let's take a look at this example. Here we want to factor completely, and we're also going to end up with a polynomial that's in quadratic form in the process of factoring this. First thing we would need to do is take out our GCF. Here our GCF happens to be 2x. Notice that all of the coefficients are even, so we can divide them by 2, and each term has at least one factor of x, so we can factor out x. Now that we've factored out the GCF, what we have left in the parentheses here is a polynomial in quadratic form. Notice how we have x to the fourth, then we have 6x squared. So we can rewrite what's in the parentheses as x to the fourth becomes x squared squared plus 6x squared plus 5. Now we'll let u equal x squared. Now over here we can factor using a c. Here a is 1, b is 6, c is 5. So we need two factors of positive 5 that add to positive 6. And that's easy, that's going to be 1 and 5. Now we'll factor by grouping. Common factor here is u. And here our common factor is 5. 
now we have a common factor of u plus 1. And now we're almost done. We just have to remember that u is equal to x squared, so we need to replace u with x squared, and then we're finished. Now at this point, we would want to check to see if we could further factor any of the factors here, but luckily we can't, so we're finished and we don't have to do any more with this problem. Here's one more example. I would suggest pausing the video here, try to go through this problem on your own, then hit play to see me go through the rest of the solution. So this is a polynomial in quadratic form. We can tell that because we have x being raised to a power of 6 and x being raised to a power of 3, and 6 is 2 times 3. So we can first rewrite this polynomial as x cubed squared minus x cubed minus 6. And now we'll say let u equal x cubed, and we'll rewrite this as u squared minus u minus 6. And now this is a polynomial that's pretty simple to factor. We need two factors of negative 6 that add to negative 1, so that'll be negative 3 and positive 2. Now we can factor by grouping. And now we're almost done. We just have to remember that u is equal to x cubed, and we have to substitute that back in. And neither of these factors can be factored any further, so we're finished.